Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we're doing another video in atomic structure and electron configurations. So let's get started. Bam! Today we're doing an electron configuration, orbital box diagram, and quantum numbers for iron, that is atomic number 26, with a 3 plus charge. So that is a cation of iron, and cations, do they gain or lose electrons? What do you think? Okay. Um, all metals lose electrons. So how many electrons have I lost here with an iron? I've lost three electrons because it's a three plus charge. So the first thing I need to do is get the atomic number for iron. That's a Z of 26. I'm going to find that on my periodic table. Then I'm going to write out the electron configuration of iron using the noble gas notation of iron. Okay. So noble gas notation of iron, that will be the noble gas that is prior to iron. It's not past iron, okay? So it has an atomic number less than 26. Okay, so there's the noble gas of uh, argon. That's in brackets, not parentheses. It must be in brackets. And then I have a 4s0, okay? You don't actually have to have the 4s at all. You can just delete the 4s, okay? And then I have a 3d5. So I have lost the two electrons from the 4s first, and then I've lost one electron from the 3d6 for the atom. So hopefully you understand that you're losing the electrons from the largest principal quantum number first. That's why I'm losing the 4s2 electrons. I'm going to lose two of those, and I have one more to lose, so I have to go into the 3d. Okay, that's why I get the three plus charge for iron. Now I'm going to do the orbital box diagram of iron that's a three plus charge, the cation of iron. Okay, I've highlighted right here where those electrons have been lost so that you do understand where they are coming from. I do not have to write the 4s. I could just have argon in brackets and then 3d5 and that would be perfectly fine. All right, so orbital box diagram. Okay, and I have uh, electrons to fill in the 3D section, and only five of them. So they need to be in order, so I'm going to skip the 4S because I've actually removed those two electrons, and I've removed one of the electrons from the 3D subshell also. So I'm going to have five electrons to place in the 3D. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. Okay, so is this paramagnetic or diamagnetic? Do I have any unpaired electrons in iron? Oh my gosh, totally five of them. So this is paramagnetic. I want you to understand that there is something very important about this orbital box diagram for iron. This orbital box diagram describes why iron that's a three plus charge is the most stable ion charge of iron. So there are three different oxidation states for iron. One is a zero, that it's the element. Then there's a two plus, then there's a three plus. So of these, which one is the most stable cation of iron? Is it the two plus or is it the three plus? It is most certainly the three plus of the iron because you have half filled orbitals and this is very low in energy relatively. Okay, so half filled orbitals is low in energy. And that's why this three plus charge for iron is very stable. It's maximum multiplicity following Hund's rule. Okay, now I'm going to circle an electron here and we're going to do a set of four quantum numbers to represent that particular electron. So pause the video, write out the N, the L, the M sub L, and the M sub S values for that particular circled electron. Then you're going to restart that video. So the N value is what subshell I'm in, and that is the principal quantum number of three. So the N is three. Then it's a D-type orbital, and the D-type orbital, the L value for a D-type orbital is a two. Okay, now you're going to label the boxes in the middle box, and this happens to be in the middle box. So that middle box is a zero. So the M sub L value is zero. Okay, then this is an upwards facing electron that is a clockwise spin that is facing towards heaven, that's positive. So the M sub S value is going to be plus one half. So here are my set of four quantum numbers to represent that electron. Hopefully you got those and you followed what I did. Okay, I am the crazy hat chemist. That is another crazy hat video and I'm wearing a dinosaur on my head. Roar! 
If you like that video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate that. Have a fantastic day. I look forward to doing more cool chemistry videos with you. So stay tuned. Bye now.